they give you a couple weeks or whatever the hell. But she like, why you ain't on there? And I was like, my mom put me out. She kicked me out for real. And I was staying in the damn hotel. The worst, it was a damn motel. Motel, not a hotel, motel. I couldn't even go outside to get my pizza because it was hella niggas on the damn standing around and shit. So I'm like, damn, I starved and I ain't even gonna lie to you. She been treating me the way, but she finally saying it. Because I'm older and I'm out of her house and I'm doing better than she thought I was going to do. She thought that I needed her. She thought that she was, that I was going to stay there forever. She didn't really think I was going to move with him, you know. And she... She destroyed my whole damn room. I started taking that damn ibuprofen because I'm like, I, don't, I didn't know nothing at that time, but... Whatever pill I find, I'm gonna take that shit because I'm ready to go. And I was dating this girl at the time, and her dad was my teacher. He was a foster parent, so he had to say something. He called, they called 911 or whatever. They came. I told my mama because I heard sirens. I was like, I ain't gonna tell neither one of they ass. I'm just gonna bring them both together because that's how bad I want to know what's up for real. Because Ain't no way both of y'all don't want me. What the hell did I do? Like. Maybe one-sided, but this, from my perspective, that's the way I'm lying with me. Like, a couple months ago, you could have told me something, and I probably would have tried again. I've been going. Just him. So it's like, let me dance. Yeah, I'm protecting my heart now. Like, I'm literally about to snap. So, before I even go into a cardiac arrest, and I'm young as hell, but I know it can happen. 